Here at Indie Miners, we're often looking at new and innovative technologies as it relates to music. And today we're going to be looking at Suno.ai. It's a generative AI tool that allows you to generate songs from a text prompt. This is actually quite amazing to see before your eyes. We're gonna have a look at that today. We're gonna to talk about how easy it is, the ethical consideration, and is it any good? Look, initial thoughts here, this is this is quite Incredible. Good afternoon, mate. It's pretty out there, isn't it? It kind of reminds me of when GarageBand first kind of came out and any anyone at home can kind of plug and play and have a bit of a go and kind of come up with their own songs. But this is next level. This is artificial intelligence basically saying to the world, we're ready for the next, the, the next wave. And I tell you what, mate, you can just grab some lyrics, whether they're your own or, or someone else's, and plug them in and give it some parameters. I think you get 120 characters to talk about what you want the music to sound like and you're away. Just to demonstrate to all of you, and this is something we did previously, but what I what I did here was that I, I took some lyrics, put it into ChatGPT, asked it to come up with slightly different lyrics. I then went into this Suno application, put the lyrics in and asked it to be Coldplay sounding. So just to see what that would come up with. and. Basically, you put all of this in, you press click to create, and before your eyes, you get two versions of the song based on the text prompt instantly. You don't have to wait 10 minutes for it. This is happening within seconds. And then when you listen to it, and this is where it gets really interesting, it sounds like a studio grade song. Whether you like it or not is probably another matter, but it sounds very well produced. It sounds professional quality. How good is this? I, I mean, it's, it's next level kind of stuff, isn't it, really? I mean, I must admit, I've had a bit of a go this afternoon, and the more you kind of create using this, I think the more you can kind of tell it's AI, and it's very kind of limited to the, the sound it's producing, right? Like, I don't think it really has the capability to have the a similar kind of sounds, like an indie sound or anything like that. It's very much kind of catered for the middle of the road, Taylor Swift, radio friendly kind of songs, which isn't necessarily bad because it's going to make you the money. Would you agree with that, mate? Is that a fair statement? Oh, absolutely. I think I've tried to, to recreate songs based on indie acts that are out there. So one of the ones that I'm, I'm listening to at the moment is English Teacher. Mm -hmm. I love that band, but they've got such a unique sound that it's not really something that a, a gen AI tool has the capability at the moment to recreate. There's probably just not enough of these types of songs to, to learn off potentially. Now, that might change in the future, but what I am seeing is that there are people out there that are doing all sorts of different types of songs. So you can go into the website and listen to other people's songs. So in fact, with this song that I've just created uh, based on the video, I'll send a link there so that everyone can see and everyone can hear. I'd, I'd like to hear your thoughts. I'm not pretending that it's going to be any good, but it will sound good. I guess that's, that's probably a difference there. But there are some legal mm. implications here. Now, just like other tools that are out there, this particular technology is basically training off real life data. So a little bit like ChatGPT that it's training off songs to come up with its model to be able to respond to a query. And this is really throwing it into uh, I guess some murky territory, isn't it? Yeah, it really is, mate. So just to clarify, it, they are kind of in the courts at the moment, uh, Suno, and they're basically looking at the legalities around using the lyrics, is that right? Or the actual music from artists as well? Both. Um, I, I believe they have to be both, yeah. But, um, I mean, it, it's, it's like ChatGPT in a lot of ways. You're putting this data into a model, it becomes sort of something like a soup, if you like. Yeah. And when you ask it for something, it, it's quite difficult to associate what you're asking for back to the, I guess, the source, if that makes right, sense. Okay. So how they're going to compensate originating artists is going to be interesting there. And I guess what's more, it's, it's sort of very similar to what, maybe people are doing, have done over many, many years. I mean, to create a song, you generally have you know, some form of inspiration that is based on what somebody else has created. So 
there are some very interesting questions and, and, and things that we're going to find out about, probably not over the ensuing months, but I'm guessing those ensuing years. And, and this is a much more general statement with regards to Gen AI. Oh, absolutely, mate. In terms of all the legal stuff, it, it'll eventually kind of get sorted out. I mean, if, it's, if they end up getting shut down, just like Napster and LimeWire does, something else will come up and it'll eventually become legalised. It's not going to go away, which I'm, I'm excited about. I don't want to see artists get ripped off or anything like that, but I think there's potential in lots of different formats for artists to use this particular tool. Like it might not be just to create something new. It could be maybe using some lyrics from an artist that has been dead for ages and a band that wants to make a, a cover song, you know. It's producing stuff that you might go, geez, that's a complete different sound to how I would have done it. I might re- reproduce it and uh, make a number one hit, mate. I-, I think it's a bit of a Pandora's box, mate. I've mentioned that a few times in our AI episodes, but I don't know. It's exciting times. Please let us know in the comments what you think of Suno.ai. Have you been able to use it yourself? It's, it is free. There, there is some paid plans that are part of it. So, yeah, feel free to try it. Share some links yourself. I'd be interested to see what you've been able to potentially produce out of it. But uh, we'll keep an eye on that and potentially have more episodes around this Suno.ai technology. 